chapter Exodus 6 and 3? You remember that? The Almighty God, but my name was not known to them. You know what I'm talking about? They're confused. It's the same guy. <laughs> so when you really when you say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're really saying, you know, you're saying this talking to the same person twice. Really. Yeah. That's what you're really doing. <laughs> Think about it. You remember he's saying that I will give you my God name. Right. <laughs> that means that the God you've been serving was the Son all along. Groups retain the old teaching that the Father is Yahweh and that Christ is not Yahweh. However, one of those groups, the IUIC, or excuse me, IUIC, Israel United in Christ, has more recently taken on a position similar to that of the ICGJC, that being the position that the Father is not Yahweh and that Christ is Yahweh. All right, Shalom. Shalom. We're the brothers out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp, the brother Shamak. And the brother Banaim. All right, and before we get started, we want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name and His only begotten Son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language. All right, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the sincere, all right, hopefully let that's pushing, teaching, oh, truth, wow, and so believing wow. from all, all from all, all over the world, okay? All right, we wanted to come with the lesson, all right, basically defending the gospel, defending the gospel of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And in fact, uh, concerning the subject matter or the topic around that Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are not the same, okay? Two different entities, two different powers, okay? And it's just that simple, all right? Because you have false prophets out there, all right? Especially those uh, wolves being in sheep clothing, all right? Proclaiming, you know, maybe Hebrew Israelites, all right? But teaching falsely according to the Bible, okay? And that is that can push and confuse the hell of our, that can confuse uh, our people extremely, okay? Changing one aspect that wasn't always being taught, which is another a red flag, okay? Because this, the scriptures say, "A hey, metal not with them that's given to change." All right, double by a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. God, all right, God. we gotta remember what the scriptures say. What Malachi uh, chapter three that the Lord changes not. All right, so we can start with. Uh, I'm gonna read. Start with Isaiah chapter nine verse six because that if we just seen within the clip. All right, that's what that's what that's one of the the scriptures they were attempting to use in their reach because they're reaching. All right, and they're wrong. Okay. So this is Isaiah chapter 9, okay, in verse 6, for it reads, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. All right, and this is a prophecy of Yahweh Shai in the Old Testament, in which, which another chapter comes to mind, Isaiah 53. Okay? okay, this is a prophecy of Yahweh Shai. These are titles. Okay, these are titles. All right, this this has the scriptures speak about like what said the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Okay, which are other titles. All right, but he also has a name. All right, and that being Yahweh Shai, along with what Yahweh. All right, a title. Uh, we're gonna grab one of those scriptures with it. Being he, him being what the Ancient of Days. All right, because uh, yeah. what is it? What does Yahweh mean? He is this or he is to be. Okay, that's a that's a title, but his name is Yahweh. All right, just as one in the world, such as like LeBron James in the in, in the sports world in, in basketball. All right, they call him King James. All right, call him the chosen one. All right, but what we know, true name being what LeBron James. Just just to give a just to give it a worldly example, okay? But Isaiah chapter nine verse six, and we're going to grab that word father in this particular verse as well, okay? So it reads, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And this is the son of God. This is Yahweh Shai. It says, And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Almighty, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And we want to grab that uh that term father there in the, in the Hebrew, which being Abba, and we want to grab that definition within this verse. All right, because they're they the, the false prophets are pushing are pushing confusion. All right. Colin, I got it pulled up for you right here. Yep. That word Abba, this mm -hmm. is the definition in the Strong's. Mm -hmm. It reads, father of an individual. Second definition of God as father of his people. Uh -huh. The third definition was the point. It also means head of founder of a household, a group, family, or clan. See, that's it. And it, it's not Yahweh Shai, the head, uh, is he not the chief cornerstone, all right, of what's, of what's going on now? Okay. Thanks to Yahweh Shai, we're able to repent. All right, because of his, because of his sacrifice. All right, so yes, we get we're able to gain everlasting life through Yahweh Shai. All 
all right he's the it said head all right the uh the the uh, head of household chief meaning chief okay uh, the, the, a leader of the of his people he's all right first fruit. first fruit man okay and in our in our leadership down here within the great millstone atlanta brought brought these points out at camp as well all right so the, the gospel is being defended and when going through the definitions within the Strong's concordance, all right, it takes. That's when the Holy Spirit comes into play. That's when the the Rechafudash comes into play to decipher, you know, what's the the what's what's right from wrong. All right, to take the the meat from the bones. Okay, so from there, you have you have, you have, oh you can go you can go you can go ahead and grab that. Come, so we're gonna come. grab we're gonna grab several scriptures backing up and proving that Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are not one and the same. That's not the same God. No, it's not. They're not referring. That's confusion. That's confusion, man. They're not one and the same, man. That's that's that that's leading. That's alluding basically to the Trinity doctrine, you know, or what Christianity pushes. All right, which is utter confusion. All right, but we're gonna bring out several scriptures that to 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 bring down this confusion and this stronghold as that is continually trying to be put upon our people. But you got it. This is the book of Daniel, chapter seven, verse thirteen, mm -hmm. and it reads, "I saw in the night visions." And behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. Verse 14, And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him, and his dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. Yep, you got it. Yep. Yeah. You see that to the to the brother's point, that shows you that Yahweh Shai and Yahweh, they're two separate beings. How could they be the same being in the Old Testament? And as we see right here in the book of Daniel, chapter seven, verse thirteen and fourteen, Yahweh Shai, which is the son, is receiving dominion from his father, who is Yahweh, or in this precept here is referred to as the ancient of days mm -hmm. yeah exactly so yeah that that point so in this within this scripture like the brother like the brother broke down man is he is the yahweh shot come to himself that is it's not making sense man come, come. You, but, it, but it takes a spirit like you know you know what the saying goes oh all common sense ain't so common you know you would think like man that's your these people these teachers are reaching all right they're reaching okay so i wanted to land back off that scripture and bring forth and bring forth a, a, a foundational scripture. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse uh, starting at verse three. Okay, it reads, "But I will have you know, and of course this is Apostle Paul, our right, teaching to the, the Israelites in the Church of Corinth. <coughs> all right, it says it reads, but I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai. All right, and this is going to the order. This is going to the order. All right, uh, uh, of things. Okay." The head of every man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of, of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahweh Shai is God. All right, and that being, all right, the true name, you can say, you know, the most high, but the true name being what? Which is another title, all right, but the true name being Yahweh, all right? So there's Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, women, children. That's the order. That's the righteous order. No confusion, okay? Verse uh re -re I'll re read that verse. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahweh Shai is God. So is is Yah yeah, so is Yahweh Shai the head of himself? That just doesn't that doesn't make sense, man. No. All right, it's not making sense. Okay? You had something you want to grab? Con, con. Yeah, even right. even in um the book of Luke, mm -hmm. to be specific, Luke chapter nine, verse thirty five. And here we see another instance where it's showing separation within the scriptures. Yep. It reads, And there came a voice out of the cloud, and the cloud meaning what? The chariots of Israel, mm -hmm. saying, This is my beloved son. Hear him. And when the voice was passed, Yahweh Shai was found alone. And they kept it close and told no man in those days of those things which they had seen. You see, and again, it's showing separation between the Heavenly Father, which is the name is Yahweh, and Yahweh Shai. Did Yahweh Shai project his voice from the chariot? Absolutely not. Go ahead, Jamal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in this land back, just when you brought that scripture out, I thought upon Psalms chapter 2, verse uh, 11. I started verse 11. 
Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Verse 12. Kiss the son, lest he be angry. Who be angry? Yahweh. Okay? When you serve, when you because we know we can't, we can't directly. That's why we have Yahweh shot. We can't go, we don't have that connection anymore just to go straight to Yahweh. We he's not he we have to go through his son. All right. Okay. So it's a uh what because what's that it's a verse, it's a verse in John, you know, uh that uh well I think it might be John try John 14 and 14 and 6 but basically it's, it's going into how you got to go through Yahweh Shai to get to Yahweh all right but it, that may not be it but but I could I would read Psalm chapter 2 verse 12 kiss the son lest he be angry and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little blessed are all they that put their trust in him so yeah kiss the son lest he be angry lest yahweh be angry yeah worship all right reverend all right give reverence and respect to yahweh shot okay you trying to say one you you basically disrespecting them both by saying they're one in, they're one in the same yes they come to that's a, they're the same they come in the same spirit just as we're one body in yahweh shot all right we, we're different we're different individual spirits but we believe the same thing which makes us one body all right so in that instance or or, or in that way all right yeah they, how when you how to come in that same like like-minded spirit all right because he's he's coming in he's he's going to he, he like the scriptures say he conformed him and made him in his in his image okay. you know that's what the scriptures say yep. yes or no yep you to it. add to your point brother uh this is the book of john chapter 14 verse 6 and Yahweh Shai said unto him I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me that we see that's it <laughs> that's, you want to touch on it <laughs> go ahead brother yeah you yeah so that hey that's it bro no it's you a cold cut that's a cold that's a, that's another cut man that's uh -huh. a, and it cuts that ideology and that way of thinking to to even think that they're separate all right well he's so he's so he's telling you you got to come to him to get to to get him to get to himself that that doesn't make sense all right we read that one more time. That was hey, that's it. That's, that's it right there, that's man. Beautiful, beautiful. This is the book of John, chapter fourteen, verse six, and it reads: Yahweh Shai said unto him, "I am the way, the truth, mm -hmm. and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me." See, so yeah, that that that, that perfect land backs off the point that we we're mentioning that we got to kiss the son lest he be angry. Dang we got to worship. Yes, we worship Yahweh Shai because you got Israelite teaching that we are we are not to worship Yahweh Shai and only Yahweh alone, uh, and yeah, uh, but only Yahweh. That's a that's a teaching that's 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 falsely taught as well. You can't worship Yahweh without worshiping uh, and giving reverence and credence to Yahweh Shai. All right, just that simple. That's but that's why we that's why the salute is is like you you heard them mention within a short clip before we started the video. <laughs> You know they're saying, oh, you really saying Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? You talking about the same? No, it's Yahweh the Most High in the name of the Son. Yep. Okay, God. because we know that we got to go through Yahweh Shai to get to Yahweh. Yep. You know He's the mediator. Okay, so let me grab. Uh, I think it was Second Second Corinthians, uh, chapter one, verse two. This straight is a straight to the point scripture. It reads, "Grace be to you." And peace from God, our Father, and from the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. See, there goes the separation once again. God. Okay? The, the Father and the Son. That, that's the separation within it. That saying is that phrase itself is separation. All right. Well, he's a son. So he's the son of himself. You know what I'm saying? That it's not, it's not clicking. It's not connecting. You know, you had you got you about to grab something. No, brother, just to land back on you, perfect yeah. precept to 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 make sure that the point is made clear. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a clear and distinct separation between mm -hmm. the heavenly Father Yahweh and His Son. Go ahead, brother, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is um. Uh, let me grab. Uh, you can grab Matthew. Matthew uh twenty four and uh thirty six. Matthew twenty four and thirty six. Yeah, cause I want to grab another one in Matthew. I'm gonna grab uh, just just more just more scriptural distinctions, man. And it, and it's simple. It's it's, it's simple. They, but they're making it. They, these false prophets are are attempting to make it complicated. You know, with the with the word play, with the semantics. You know, with trying to pick and choose. You know, oh, it says all oh, the Almighty. It's it's still a title, still mighty. You know, we was about to, we we was talking before the camera cut on. We'll grab that too. How the scriptures uh, label us 
uh, as gods God. or what we die like men. Okay? But are we saying we're Yahweh Shai or Yahweh? No. Yeah. But we know we know we print, we're, we know what the name Israel means was in the Hebrew is what? Yasharala. All right, which means he, Yah meaning he, Shar is prince, and Allah is God or yeah. power. All right, but we so we know we're princes of the power. So but are we saying we're 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 Yahweh Shai's or, or, or Yahweh's? No. All right. But we're we're attempting to come in that, that rep representation and ambassadors as, you know, for our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, because we're we're memorial. We're in Mount Zion. When you see the Israelites, you know, hey, that's God's chosen people. All right? They're keeping the law, the commandments. We're, they're doing what the Lord says. All right? Yeah. He has bestowed his name upon this people. You know? Yeah. But yeah, you got it. Yeah. I got that Matthew 24, verse 36 for you. Yeah. And it reads, But that day and hour knoweth no man, not the angels of heaven, but the Father only. But the Father only. All right, so that goes to the point where we, when we're teaching, and I say we as the, the the men of the Lord, the the, the prophets. Okay, we we are, we are, we always make that 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 or make that mention or that comment that even Yahweh Shai doesn't know he's when he's going to return, but Yahweh knows. All right, that's the distinction of power. All right, Yahweh Shai is very powerful. All right, every all the miracles, the things that Yahweh Shai did are not even written in the in the Bible. All right, he said the books can even the world couldn't even uh, contain everything oh, that yeah, Yahweh Shai did, yeah. all right? So how much more so Yahweh, all right? Yahweh Shai doesn't even know when he's going to return, but Yahweh does. The distinction is right in the book, okay? It's right there, all right? So let me grab uh, Matthew, because I thought upon Yahweh Shai being the mediator, all right? Going, alluding back to the point when when the with the with the saying or with the salute, all right? Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, all right, Yahweh Shai being that mediator between the Israelites and Yahweh. Okay? So let me grab, I think it's Matthew 19 and uh, or it might be uh let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, First Timothy 2, 5. Okay, okay. Let me get Matthew 28 and uh You can grab you can grab your you got you got it already? I got it, I got it. Let me see, let's see. Matthew 28 and uh 19, all right? And I got that precept for you, too, if you want. Come what you got, what you got? Uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 5. Okay, yeah, yeah, bring it, you got it, you got it, bring it up. Come on, come on, it reads, but there is one, there was one, um, there was one power and one mediator between the most high and men. Oh, that's it. Oh, the man, it. Yahweh Shai. Yep. And I can it. read that again, because I kind of stumbled over that, so like you. And reading it again from the top, and it reads First Timothy chapter five, uh, First Timothy socket, First Timothy chapter two, verse five. Yep. But there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Yahweh Shai. See, yeah, yep. Hey, that's it. You got it. You got it though. Kind, of, kind of beautiful. You know, just as the brother just did several times throughout this particular lesson. You know, we we hit on various precepts that show you that there's a, a clear distinction between the heavenly Father Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai. And hopefully, by way of the Holy Spirit, this has been edifying and it has made it. We have made it clear unto the Akim and exactly. also you few Akwatim that that IUIC perpetually and continuously goes off on their teachings. Exactly, exactly. That's it, man. And it, it, that script and that, <laughs> that scripture gives this scripture under it gives a it gives an understanding. You know, Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. All right, because because why why would it be in the Son and of the Holy Spirit? Because we have to go through that mediator. All right. When one, you know, when you when one then when there's a conflict in the world and someone they may need a third person to mediate the conversation. So they person just take a turn, you say you can listen to this person so they can you know so they can uh control and govern the conversation you know that's that's a, being a true mediator you get to you gotta go through the middleman all right we gotta go through yahweh shy to 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 get that respect uh that delivers from yahweh all right yahweh is sending his only begotten son to save the elect of the nation of israel all right that's why the brother harped on the point that hey hopefully through the holy spirit that the sincere are able to the sincere believers and sincere listeners are able to receive the true doctrine, the true teachings of the Holy Scriptures, all right? And being able to see through what's being falsely taught and falsely put out there <clears throat> by the IUIC in this particular subject matter, okay? Because there are other false prophets as well 
uh, that proclaim themselves to be Hebrew Israelites, you know, uh, they, hey, even though themselves to be, even though they're Hebrew Israelites, all right, in the flesh, but in the spirit, they 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 they're damn near as the heathen, you know, because they're teaching falsely, all right. So uh, you had you had something that you want to grab? <laughs> yep. One more, and I think yep. uh, you yeah, know, this might be the nail in the coffin. This is Hebrews chapter one, mm. uh, verse one and two. For Yahweh, at at some times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last times spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things. By whom also he made the worlds. And I'll stop right there. Don't want to get too far in that. But mm -hmm. nevertheless, it's still showing distinction between the Heavenly Father and the Son. Yahweh, the Son, is not the Father. They're two separate entities. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. it's, and it's just that simple, man. All right. Just, just through the several scriptures that we that we brought out within this lesson. All right. The, the Father and the Son, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, two different mm -hmm. complete entities, man. All right. So don't get confused. Don't get tripped up. All right, from from these uh from these different semantics and wordplay that these false prophets are using, see see through the the lies, man, and the deception, and the deceit, okay. And the, hey, one, and one of the clear things, one of the false flags that th this wasn't always being taught. All right, this was not always being taught by these that by this group, okay. Mm -hmm. So hey, with Lord willing, you know, with that, you know, Lord willing, the uh, listeners were you know edified and also encouraged. All right. We we'll end up by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakat Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right, hey, Shalom. Shalom.